Welcome back to another Anime Kingdom review. You see by title below, yes, this is on episode 5 of Boruto. And this episode, we get introduced to Mitsuki, to which before this episode, I didn't really know anything about him. I saw him a little bit in the movie, to which I have not watched it still yet. Um, I saw the very beginning parts just because I kept looking, check when this was back when it wasn't even subject, and I kept waiting for when it was going to be subbed. So, of course, you know, I know who's you know going to be in what group and everything in their groups after this. Won't spoil anything since, you know, not everyone has watched the movie, me included, it's just I saw that little part. But, I don't really know much about Mitsuki, I just wasn't as surprised to see him because I did at least see how he looked, you know, in the, the movie part. I just don't know about where he came from, what his moves are, and all that kind of stuff. Until finally in this episode we do get introduced to him, to which he's... I don't know, like, just from what we've seen in this episode so far already, he's from the Sound Village. He has, like, his movement and everything is snake-like. It's like a snake, you know? And he even had, like, a, a, a snake crawling up his clothes when he was talking to someone about some, like, hidden mission that he supposedly has, which it looks like it's about, you know, Boruto. He's talking about it. We'll see if that's his, you know, son. Um, so I'm not too sure, you know, S-U-N. I'm not too sure what's going on there, what his plan is. He also can also see whatever Boruto has seen, the shadow kind of thing. So... You know, the only person I can think of that's one, from the sound, the whole thing with the sound village, two, snake-like and everything, and three, has some hidden agenda of sorts and probably knows what this thing is, is probably Orochimaru. What is his connection with Mitsuki, and, or, you know, Orochimaru's connection with Mitsuki? I'm not too sure, obviously, at the end of Naruto, you know, Orochimaru was, of course, not, you know, bad anymore, but... I'm, not, I'm still not too sure. Maybe he ends up going bad now. Who the hell knows, right? But there's some type of connection between them. Mitsuki throughout this episode has been pretty damn weird. He obviously doesn't know a lot. He's not the most, you know, social person. Obviously, he's kind of, like, confused on a lot of things that was going on, including the part where he almost killed Iwabi at one point. He was, like, like forcing him to get off. And until Boruto said, you know, stop it right now, he was actually like, he was like, Why, why'd you stop me? I was about to win. I'm like, what? Yeah, you're going to kill him? <laughs> yeah, sure, he said, you know, you know, just go full on, you know, all out kind of thing. But he didn't mean go all out in the way that you just go full on killing the person to win. You just have to incapacitate them, you know, knock them down kind of thing. Obviously, as like you saw with Iwabi versus Boruto when they had that one fight and Iwabi just, you know, ends up being a lot stronger than Boruto. Boruto being caught off guard. And then, you know, that in that small little fight that they had right there. And that was it. So, I mean... He's supposedly smart. He had like he was able to solve that one problem and everything, and he knows a lot of other things. And I don't know. He's just not the most social person, obviously. So it would make sense that he also came from Orochimaru, because obviously, I'm pretty sure Orochimaru isn't the most social person as well. He's pretty damn weird, as we've seen in Naruto and everything. So it would make sense. Like I said before, I don't know the exact connection. But maybe they'll, you know, show it later on, several episodes later. But the big thing about it, th about him and everything, was the fact that he can see that shadow. He knows of the shadow that Boruto can see. And he said, oh, so you can see it. So he obviously has been following Boruto. He's trying to get close to Boruto. So there's something to do with this shadow. Still not really exactly sure. Boruto seems to, his eye just, every time he sees someone with that, you know, shadowy Thing. We still don't exactly know what the heck it is. Hopefully, you know, in the next episode, Mitsuki will explain it if he does know anything about it. But every time he sees it, Boruto's eye instantly changes and then changes back. So I'm not too sure if it's like a self-conscious thing that he's able to use that eye technique. And when he does do it, is it... Does he control when to turn it off? It just, like, appears one moment, disappears the next moment. So... It, it's still huge, uh, like, probably the biggest thing right now at the moment is the whole shadowy thing and Boruto's eye. And now, of course, the mystery behind Mitsuki that is going on in these episodes. The other part of the episode, of course, was... Man, I swear, Shino is completely different. I talked about this in the last episode, but Shino is so different from how he was in Naruto. 
which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but you just can't help but feel so sorry for him when he goes to Kurenai and she like pretty much tells him that yeah, you you're definitely not the best one suited to be a teacher and everything. But of course, you know, he really does try hard and you can definitely tell that and he wants everyone to accept him and listen to him and all that kind of stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> when they were like full on like yeah he's not the best teacher he's like you know talking a whole bunch of crap to him and saying he's not reliable and all that kind of stuff but hey he's the teacher still yeah you know i felt so sorry for him and he ends up being all depressed in the in the office as well with the other teachers if i was one of the teachers i'd be like oh shit he's he's being all gloomy and everything you know it's like seriously sh he he went super full on out you know all out with his outfit which was definitely not Shino like and then of course when the everything was moving I was like how the hell is he doing that at first and I was thinking it's bugs right the girl grabs him oh you shouldn't have grabbed that 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 bear bugs flying everywhere Miski uses power blows everything that one guy goes crazy be later on because of his thing and of course the next thing that the shadow is you know taking over is of course Shino so it should definitely be interesting to see how this next episode, you know, how this fight will be in the beginning. Because this is Shino. It's not like one of, like, some random dude doing construction or one of the kids. This is literally a seasoned veteran from the war. We've seen Shino fight. He can fight if he's serious. So, I don't know how the hell Boruto, Shigadai, and, you know, Mitsuki are, is going to be able to take him out. But... It should definitely be interesting. Probably like Mitsuki has some sort of way that he knows about this shadow thing. And he'll be able to take it out. I'm just wondering like when the hell is Boruto going to tell anyone else. The only person that knows so far is of course you know Mitsuki. And Shikadai has an inkling of what's going on. He's like oh is this is the same thing that happened with Metal. So he obviously notices that there's something wrong. But Boruto isn't telling a single person. He's not telling his dad. Which kind of makes sense. But at least tell like. I don't know your teachers or something tell Shino so Shino knows you know once after the what's it called the that one guy went crazy and everything what are they gonna do D they pretty much just let that guy probably get arrested because he went mad and started attacking the kids and destroying the building they didn't say anything like this happened before you know um, this happened to metal this happened to Denki they weren't really all in their mind there's something going on Boruto can see the shadowy form or something why doesn't he say anything? I'm pretty sure that guy's going to get in real big trouble for what he did for attacking, you know, children and also attacking, you know, destroying federal property is what it pretty much is. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on there if Boruto is going to finally explain in the next one, but I am honestly excited for the next episode because it, come on, if it's got Shino going serious mode, like, practically like before it's probably going to be a pretty crazy fight to which i am definitely excited for and probably like i said we'll get more info on everything else with the shadow form and mitsuki as well but yeah that's all i gotta say guys hope you enjoyed this anime kingdom review if you have any questions feel free to comment below if there's anything i missed and you want to talk about comment below as well and if you did enjoy it, a like if you haven't already feel free to subscribe for more content and until next time guys see ya <laughs>